I'm sorry to inform you, but after this video, you will probably never eat Ezekiel bread again. Let me show you the simple reason why. And uh, uh, it is unbelievable that they are selling Ezekiel bread in, in stores with a little scripture on the front as if it's a good thing, as if it's... It's, oh, God said to Ezekiel, eat this bread, and it's a good thing. And Okay, really quickly, I'll say I have eaten Ezekiel bread before, and the raisin bread, and it's, it tastes pretty good. It seems fine, and it might be perfectly healthy. But if you look at where Eze what Ezekiel bread really is and what it was and where it came from, you will reject it. I mean, let's simply read the scripture, a, a very, a pretty short passage where this is where, this is what Ezekiel bread is. Let's read it. And by the way, in this, in this, in this scripture passage is included the scripture that is, is, is pasted on every package of Ezekiel bread. It's, yeah, let's read it. So, Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 7. Therefore thou shalt set, set thy face toward the siege of Jerusalem. Okay, that's already a bad context. And thine arm shall be uncovered, and thou shalt prophesy against it. And behold, I will lay bands upon thee, and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another till thou hast ended the days of thy siege take also i'm gonna i'm gonna translate king james okay along the way take also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils millet and fitches and put them in one vessel and make thee bread thereof according to the number of days that thou shalt lie upon thy side, three hundred and ninety days will you eat thereof. And your meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight twenty shekels a day from time to time thou shalt eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure the sixth part of a hen from time to time thou shalt drink and thou shalt Eat as it as barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with dung that comes out of a man in their sight. Let me read that and rephrase. You're going to eat this bread with human poop. You're gonna cook it with human poop. You're gonna use human poop to bake this defi this bread. Okay, I spoiled it. This defiled bread. Right here, it, it really quickly, it it's, gets real plain. And it already has, really. Verse 13. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them out. Verse 9 was the instructions of the ingredients. And verse 13 is... Once again, and the Lord said, In this way shall the children of Israel eat defiled bread among the Gentiles, where I will drive them. Ezekiel bread is defiled bread. That's what it, it, that's what it was. That's what it... I mean, it's we're not in the Old Testament. So there were Old Testament laws which said you're not supposed to... Uh, sowed two different grains in one field. There was a lot of a lot of laws, and <laughs> this was symbolically Ezekiel bread was symbolically defiled bread. Why would you choose to eat this bread? No, not good. All right, let's go back to the the, the scripture. Once again, verse thirteen. Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, where I will drive them. Verse 14, Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, my soul has not been polluted 
For from my youth up and even until now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself or is torn in pieces, neither came there abominable flesh, abominable flesh into my mouth. So Ezekiel is crying out and saying, Ah, Lord, please don't make me eat defiled stuff. Don't make me do it, please, Lord. And then after Ezekiel makes this cry, then, verse 15, Then the Lord said unto, him, unto me, unto him, Lo, okay, I'm, I'm going to lessen this, 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 this horribleness. I have given you cow's dung instead of man's dung, and you shall prepare your bread with that. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water and be astonied with, the, with one another, with, the, with one with another, and consume away for their iniquity. That's what Ezekiel bread is. Oh my gosh, I do not want Ezekiel bread. As a quick disclaimer, there's two different kinds of Ezekiel bread. Now, the Ezekiel bread in the Bible, there's the Ezekiel bread in the Bible, and then there's this this uh, Ezekiel bread in stores. And in the Bible, Ezekiel bread was cooked with human poop later changed to cow poop obvious i i i do not i'm not saying that ezekiel bread the ezekiel bread you buy in the store is cooked with human poop or cow poop i'm sure they're not doing that it's not legal and they wouldn't be able to sell in stores if they're doing that i doubt it i really doubt it but um yeah so there's there's really a difference and in this video i'm saying um you know, this is what Ezekiel bread is. And when I say that, what I mean is, I'm talking about in biblical terms. Really, the the whole Ezekiel bread company is, they should not be calling their bread Ezekiel bread. They should not. Because real Ezekiel bread was first ordained to be cooked with human poop, and then later, shortly, and then, then changed to be cooked with cow poop. I don't think they're cooking it with cow poop. So it's not really, the Ezekiel bread in the store is not really Ezekiel bread. I mean, it's got the, the lentils and the blah, 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 but it's not the same. It's not the same. Um, and so, yeah, it's, I mean, we see in the, uh, in the Old Testament, there were, there, there were strict dietary laws. And basically, uh, you'll have to check me on this, but I think basically the whole the way they mix all these different grains, you're not supposed to do that in the Old Testament. It wasn't allowed. It, it was that would be considered that alone would make the bread unlawful and defiled. And then, but the just the kick the 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 the, the, the part that makes it horribly defiled is when you cook that unlawful the bread that's already unlawful with human poop. Or lessen, then God lessened it to cow poop. So yeah, there's a difference between the Ezekiel bread in the Bible and Ezekiel bread in the store. They're the, the they're causing a lot of confusion. They should not be called Ezekiel bread company should not be calling their bread Ezekiel bread because it's not.